I have no doubt you will go down as one of the truly great justices in the history of the United States Supreme Court. It was a big day for Colorado Judge Neil Gorsuch as he officially assumed his role as the ninth justice serving on the Supreme Court. I promise you that I will do all my powers permit to be a faithful servant of the Constitution and laws of this great nation. Gorsuch is expected to vote most often with the court's conservative justices, uh, restoring their majority. Of course, he uh, replaced Antonin Scalia. Uh, Krista Kafer, the co-host of Kelly and Kafer on KNUS Radio, is joining me now. And, uh, you know, there was a lot going on in Washington this past week, actually. Yes. We're going to go all the way back to Monday when uh, Justice Gorsuch was sworn in. Uh, so we have a full Supreme Court bench for the first time in about a year. And, and, and where do we go from here now? I mean, th this was a, a tough, tough one. Democrats it, did not want to support him at all. Well, and this is, I think this is part of what the election was about. I mean, you ha I knew a lot of folks that supported Trump simply for this Supreme Court nominee. And so we got a good nominee. I think he's going to be great. He's smart. He's thoughtful. Of course, he's from Colorado. I think he's going to be a very thought. I think he even he may even surprise people on the left with the thoughtfulness of his decisions. Also, you have to consider that that most decisions, or I say over half of the decisions, are unanimous already. Mm -hmm. So there is the court does come together on a lot of issues where there is some uh, disagreement, and you get those five four decisions. It's important to have that well that fifth vote or that fourth mm -hmm. vote, right? We need nine members because a new precedent cannot be set by the Supreme Court unless there's a full court. If there's a divided eight eight or four to four among eight justices, the lower court decision stands. Mm -hmm. So I think this is important. Any Anything uh, that Colorado gets out of having one of our own? No, I think there's a kind of thoughtfulness that Westerners bring to the table. Mm. You know, it's it, 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 you don't have the kind of the, the East Coast uh, mentality. I, yeah, I lived out there for a long time. I am a native <laughs> of Colorado, but there is a kind of, well, should I say a little bit of arrogance? And I, I think it's nice to have somebody from Colorado, somebody who's got an even keel. I think he's going to be fantastic. All right. Well, we will watch that. Uh, you know, we mentioned a lot happening in, in Washington this week. Uh, the Trump administration and, and specifically President Trump really showing their foreign policy uh, and, and what their beliefs are in this in this respect this week uh, what were your thoughts i mean from the airstrikes in syria over a week ago uh to to russia and the meeting this week uh with uh, rex tillerson secretary of state tillerson being there uh, to north korea to bombing afghanistan what a week it has been an insane yeah. week and i don't know this is where you know kind of a marker that president trump puts down this is me this is who i am you need you need to be careful where you tread um, I'm not like my predecessor. I'm not simply going to draw a red line and then do nothing. This, the Syrian one, I, you know, there's good arguments on both sides. Do we re-involve ourselves or involve ourselves to a greater degree than we are now in that part of the world, which frankly is a quagmire. You've got Kurds, Turks, Persians, you know, mm -hmm. Russians. There's all kinds of people, ISIS, of course, Syrians, involved in this, this terrible, tragic civil war. But when a country uses a, a chemical weapon on its own people, who says no to that? Mm -hmm. Obviously, the UN, you know, anything in the UN Security Council is going to be divided. Some countries are not going to want to go along. If, if we hadn't have acted, no one would have acted. Do you allow chemical weapons to be used on civilians that way? So I, I think you could, you know, I could understand both sides on that issue. As far as the dropping the giant bomb into Afghanistan, I think he could, makes it on a campaign pro, uh, promise there, which is I'm going to take out ISIS. I'm going to do something significant. I'm going to trust my generals, and if they say let's do this, let's do this. So maybe not as much of a surprise if you were following what he said during the campaign. Well, Krista Kafer. Sorry we don't have a lot more time to talk, but thank you for your uh, input on that. You bet. And we'll see you next time.